Good evening, everybody. Um, looking at the calendar, I realized that the 2018 running season is quickly approaching. It's still super cold here in the Midwest, but um, the <clears throat> Shamrock Shuffle is in eight weeks. So in the Midwest anyway, that's when we really gear up the running season. And for those of you that performed last year, maybe not quite the way you wanted or you suffered an injury, I think that the best way to make the 28 season your best season, maybe you want to get that PR, maybe your goal is just to make it through the season without getting injured, I think if you can focus on your technique this season, you're going to notice a big difference in your performance and decreasing your risk of an injury. So I want to give you three tips tonight on how to decrease or how to improve your performance to address all those things that you want to do this season. So the three tips, the first one is working on your cadence. Now, I have my on my phone, I have a couple apps that help when I'm running. So one of the apps I use is a metronome app. These are free, you can download them. Um, some people don't love it because it's a consistent ticking, um, and it may sound a little bit like this. Um, so you set it to about 180. And some people that makes them crazy. So another option is to do Spotify or Rock My Run, something where you can download a playlist and the playlist would be at about 180 beats or steps per minute. The reason we focus on that cadence is because that's where research has shown the body functions the best. You're lightest on your feet, it shortens your stride and just helps you perform more efficiently. The second tip I want to give you is to strength train. Now all my runners are so tired of me saying this, but running is not strengthening. So strengthening, there are very specific things you can do, um, such as squats, lunges, balance work. All of those things are key to helping your muscles be prepared for what they have to do during running. So you can follow us on our YouTube channel or look on our Facebook page, and we give hints all the time on good strengthening drills. But you could even work with a personal trainer. Luckily, we have one that works with us here, um, and he knows how to target exactly what the runners need. But you could find one in your local gym that might be able to help you increase your strength to help you improve your performance. And the last tip is get a video analysis done. Now there are coaches like me that do it in the clinic or we do it virtually where you email me your videos and we communicate over the web or through um, Skype, those kind of things. But if you need help finding a technique specialist in your town, shoot me a message and I can help you find one. But working with a certified professional that is trained in the biomechanics of running um, and just doesn't do it you know, without any advanced training can really make a difference in your understanding of why form is so important. The more efficient you are in your running form and your running technique, the better you'll run without excessive movements and wasting energy. So those are my three tips for tonight. Um, hope you guys are staying warm if you're in the Midwest, but we're looking forward to kicking off the running season with more posts and tips for you as you go forward. So see you soon. Again, let us know if you have any questions. We're always here to answer them. Have a great night.